Now, let us come back and do the trick number 14. Again, I'm going to explain about uh, okay, uh, giving, I'll be giving you a trick for solving stability questions. <laughs> right. So, what is the trick about? Now, 14 trick, now I'm going to give, uh, let's see, based on polarizability. Right. Now, stability of anion, right, the negative ion. It increases as we go down the group. This is the concept. Now, what is it said? When we go from top to bottom in a group, the stability of anion increases it seems. Why this increases based on what it is? Nothing but it is based on the polarizability, right? I think you know what is polarizability, students. So, recollect where we have studied this polarizability. I think we have studied this in Fajan's rule also, isn't it? <laughs> we have said if the cation uh, is a smaller or if the anion is larger. So, I think you recollect and tell me polarizability or polarization. Yes, students. Okay. I will only give you the exam or I will only give you the definition. Polarizability, we, we speak basically in terms of the cation and the anion. So, it is a measure. Means how we measure it. We, we measure how an electron cloud is distorted in electric field. Polarizability is nothing but it is a measure of distortion of an electron cloud by a, uh, in an electric field. Yes, students, you have an cation. Suppose if I take Na+, plus, you have an anion, chloride ion in this way. How this drags the uh, anionic cloud towards it and finally it forms a bond in this way, right, plus and minus. So, this is polarizability. So, we said, suppose in the exam, they have given us polarizability. What is the order of this examples given? So, what will I remember? St this stability of the anion, it increases down the group. They have given me different examples. Now, with this clue, I'll solve that stability question. Suppose they have given me different examples like this. SCH is one example and one more. Sulfur and H, one more. O and H, one more. So, now immediately I can apply. Now, as soon as this question is given, remember this is a negative charge. That is an anion. Done. After that, you will remember, you will just see whether it is in a period or in a group. Now, here when I see the uh, elements, first oxygen. Correct? 8 is atomic number. Then sulfur, 16. Yes. So, how is it going? It is going from top to bottom. So, first comes in the group oxygen. Next comes sulfur. Then next comes selenium. So, which is at the top? This is at the top. Isn't it? Of the periodic table. This is at the uh, bottom. In the periodic table that is in a group. Yes. Now, according to this, what should I do? Take the order. I said first the order will be OH minus is less stable than sulfur, is less stable than selenium hydride. So, this is the order. So, from top to bottom in a group, top to bottom in a group, polarizability, based on the polarizability, I will say the one which is at the bottom is most stable. This is most stable. So, what can I write? So, the top ones, whatever are there, let me erase that example. The top ones, whichever are there in the periodic table, if it is a negative ion, so, the top one that is O H minus is least stable. Then comes your SH. Then comes selenium hydride. At the bay, this is at the low bottom, isn't it? So, this is most stable anion. This you have to remember. Right? Now, one more trick, one more we will do based on the ionization energy. Right, students? Now, once again, I am writing one more. Same thing. In the same trick 14, what is that? Based on ionization energy. So, I am going to take the concept as they will give you trend based on ionization energy, i.e. Right. So, what am I trying to tell you? Stability of anion. Stability of anion. When does it increase? It increases when electron withdrawing substituents are added. Increases when 
electron withdrawing groups are added this is one more thing which you should remember if the electron withdrawing groups are added automatically the stability of anion increases how can i apply this in this uh, in the exam right so i said one thing one based on electronegativity as electronegativity increases in a period stability increases left to right if anion stability increases top to bottom based on polarizability now the stability of anion also increases when you are adding, adding electronegative groups let's take an example and see suppose in this example i have so this is electronegative element yes how many are there one one more i'll take there are two electronegative atoms three electronegative atoms no electronegative atoms now what did i say if the electron withdrawing groups are more anion stability increases so which will have maximum stability let us number this one two three and four which has more electronegative atoms first thing the uh, the one which is having more electron withdrawing groups so here this has the first preference because three are there this will become the second preference two are there this will become the third preference three one is there this will become the last preference that is there is no so how will i write the order among all those four is less stable than one which is less stable than two which is less stable than three so which is more stable among all those third is a more stable one because the electronegative or electron withdrawing groups are more in this which is electron withdrawing group it is nothing but f or the electronegative element that is f so in this example there are three fluoride ions in this example there is no fluoride ions so more number of electronegative elements are there in this more will be the anion stability yes students done yes now let us come back and do one more trick right students let us come back and do that is trick number 15 so in the earlier trick i think i have explained you about the stability of anions based on three important concepts what are they one would be the based on the electronegativity one based on the polarizability next based on the electronegative atom which is present now next would be based on the hydration right by um, based on the uh, not hydration i'm sorry based on the hybridization so once again let me just write the trick remember stability of anion increases again i'm writing increases when it increases as important it has more s character this is one more thing which you have to remember students more the s character more would be the stability of the anion right so let us take one example and see suppose they have given hope you have noted this i'll erase this and take an example they have given me three examples in the question paper what are they i have to remember if they are given based on the hybridization how will you judge their stability this is a concept what did i say whichever has more s character that will have more stability that is a concept right so if i take an example of this there is they have given me one anion this one more anion is there given to me this way that one is single bond one is triple bond one more anion given to me is a double bond right students now we very well know if it is single bond what is the type of hybridization sp3 if it is triple bond what is the type of hybridization sp if it is double bond what is the type of hybridization sp2 i very well know according to the trick more the s character more will be the stability of the anion correct now in sp3 hybridization what is s percentage character s character is 25% 75% is p, p, p character if i take sp s character is 50% here if i take s character is 33 percent now i said which is more this is more okay let us write the number one two three now let us again come back to the trick more the s character more will be the stability of the anion so which has more s character two has more s character which is uh which is the next one uh, which is it all we'll write less ones first yes one 
is less than 3 which is less than 2. So 2 is a maximum correct yes so once again students you apply this more the s character more will be the stability of the anion in terms of hybridization now in this the triple bond is <coughs> having the maximum s character so that will be more stable then comes the double bond then comes the single bond done so let us summarize all the stabilities together in trick 15 let's see this so what did i say whenever a question of stability of anion is given to me so just see this remember very important suppose stability of anion concept is given to me i have to remember important three important concepts if i have to say right what are they first thing this stability of anion, when does it increase? If it, it, it increases, if all these factors are satisfied, what is that? If the if from left to right in the periodic table, that is in a period, what will increase? If electronegativity increases, automatically the stability of anion increases. Next concept, from top to bottom, if anion stability should increase from top to bottom, what should increase? Polarizability should increase. If the polarizing character increases, that is pulling out the anionic cloud in the electric field, polarizability, it, if it increases, automatically this stability also increases. Next, if the electron withdrawing groups, if I have to say, if the electron withdrawing groups increases, then automatically the anion stability increases. Next would be if the percentage of S character, if the percentage of S character should be more or less students, it should be more. If the percentage of S character is more, automatically the anion stability also increases. So in this, if I have to say this, which, which one is this? Uh, the triple bond will have, it will be more stable triple bonded anion. If the anion is there uh, present in the compound, which is triple bond, triple bond will be first given preference more stable then comes double bond then comes single bond right students now, let us come back and do the next trick after anion stability let's come back and learn a different trick that is based on your nuclear files so let us come and do trick 16 what does it say so here basically when we speak about nuclear files what are nuclear files they are basically electron rich species we have three different strong nuclear files if i have to say uh, weak nuclear files as well as um, neutral also neutral nucleophiles also right so here i'm talking about strong nucleophiles suppose the trick is if the nucleophile is or stronger nucleophile if they are present in polar solvents okay stronger nucleophiles in polar solvents i will also explain in one of the trick what are polar solvents please go through that video i think it is video number one only so i've shown what are polar protic solvents and polar aprotic solvents right so stronger nucleophiles in polar if they are present in polar solvents what is always remember they are going to prefer they prefer or they form what type of products they form elimination products this is what is important remember if the nucleophile is strong enough and if it is present in a polar solvent they are going to show elimination products so they're going to form elimination products but all other products are also pro pro produced but in different yields but all other products are produced but in different yields right so in different yields means different productivity will be there but it's going to prefer el elimination products only so this is your trick 16 students i think this will be very easy in the exam whenever you see a stronger nucleophile list also have given and whenever you see a polar solvent that also have given then you can say the product 100 percent will be an elimination product only then yes now let us come back and do trick 17 of a series right so in trick 17 what am i going to learn right i'm giving some uh, formulas here directly which you can apply for solving the numerical in the exam what is this suppose the first one is ion ion interaction remember ion ion interaction is inversely proportional to the square of its radius if I have to take the next one, ion dipole interaction, this is also inversely related to the cube of its radius. 
next one london forces if i have to take london forces the dispersion forces if i have to take it is also inversely related to by 6 r6 if i take dipole 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 it is inversely proportional to the cube of this so this will be very useful students when they give you a numerical you can apply the formula directly yes yes let's come back and do trick number 18